Hello everyone, welcome to DFE TNN DK tutorial for Alder 96. So this is the tutorial session on implementing or running DFE TNN DK on Alder 96. So we just have connected Alder 96 with our mobile XTROM. So we already have given all the tutorials in the description and you can just download it. And we are just starting our BNC server now. So BNC server will give us the desktop on mobile XTROM and we can just see the screen or desktop screen of Alter 96 in the BNC. So we don't need to connect uh, display port like main display port and we just get the Alter 96 display on this terminal program and this program is also linked on the description. So let's start with the terminal of Alder 96. So this is the desktop of Alder 96. And now we are, we can go inside the project of Alder 96. We can go inside the Alder 96 samples. And there are a few projects like Adas detection, video analysis. And let's begin with video analysis. We can make it first for making. Just go into the directory and into the command make. It will take few minutes might be. It depends of the program and after make completes we can run the program so make is running on so let's wait for some time so aside of uh, video analysis there is recent 50 adas detection and post detection along with different projects now video analysis project is make now we can just run with dot slash video analysis and we can link the video file that is dot slash video structure.mp4 now we can see the video which is structure.mp4 and we can see the detection of different type of vehicles and uh, pedestrians on the traffic video and we also have implemented the counting algorithm on it so our algorithm can count how many numbers of like vehicles are there in the video so that is not present in the DFE examples we write the algorithm on the top of DP sample example ourselves. So now let's go for another example and we can just end up the video analysis. Now we can go for. So these are the sample list, sample list. So we can go for ADAS detection. So ADAS detection is like the video analysis. So it will be implemented it is a target to implement it on the vehicles so first of all we have to make the adas detection so with make command after make completes we can just run it using the dot slash adas detection and link the video and dot slash adas detection space dot slash video slash adas dot avi so we can see the video with detection of vehicles this is the second example, second sample which we are running on. Actually, our uh, DFE is 2.08, and there is also 3.0 version of DFE available on Xilinx. However, we are just running the previous version of DFE, and the stretch we are using is the 18.18.2 uh, version of Alder 96. We, we are also going to provide you the uh, tutorial on it. So, in the description, you will get the tutorial details and you can just run this example yourself also using BNC using mobile XTOM. So let's build another example, another sample. We can now build the pause detection. Let's first of all go to pause detection directory and we can then make the pause detection and we can run it. Let's do make. And there is mainly recent 50, Inception B1, and uh, some other application level of algorithms there in DP. So we can utilize these uh, neural networks or algorithms for building our applications also. And as we told, we are also doing implementation on DEFI. So uh, first project we are doing is counting the number of vehicles on ADAS application. So it will count uh, the precision, precise number of vehicles. 
now our make of pose detection is completed now we can just run it using dot slash pose detection and we can also link the video so this uh, bnc uh, interface gives us quite freedom actually we don't need to have mini display port and uh, our mini display port is not working properly so we just focus on bnc we also have that interface but that interface is quite like uh, may generate some sort of issues if the main display is not working well then the alternative way is bnc interface so we can just get the alternative 6 desktop on our terminal program so we can just run it. so this is the pause detection and the video is from Tefi and the pause detected symbols or the signs are overlaid on the Tefi original video of pose.mp4 now we can run other applications also let's see about the segmentation example first of all make it and then we can run it actually this details is also explained in uh, UZ uh, 1327 so if you visit that user guide then you can also get the details about how to build the uh, TN and DK examples and if you want to build the uh, this design from the scratch then you can follow the dpu trd and we also have built the dpu trd for jsu 104 and alto 96 so you can also utilize those uh, dpus uh, target reference design so we already have run uh, four different applications now we can run now we can run mobile net so let's see about mobile net make is complete now we can run it dot slash mobile net so mobile net actually utilized for classification of different images so there is a set of images which is classified using mobile net and we can just obtain the classification result on terminal actually the bnc is a little slower than real time mini display interface because bnc is obtained from the uh, through the Wi-Fi of Alder 96 actually we are using Wi-Fi actually Alder 96 have the Wi-Fi interface and we already have tutorial on how to set up Wi-Fi using uh, terminal commands and how to set up BNC interface with Alder 96 so you can also get the detail on description so the BNC is a little bit slower than the real-time mini display port so the image so shown up in the side of uh, mobile net or rest net is a little slower than the terminal so now we are building the rest rest net 50 it is also utilized for classification of image and now it is running on so we can see the results uh, so guys uh, thanks for watching and this is all on the DFG DNN DIC tutorial for Alder 96 and this tutorial is uh, useful or directly implementable for JC 104, JC 102 and the FPGA board from DFE. So thanks for watching, meet you in the next session. If you have any queries so you can just write at the email address which we have provided here and you can also connect us from Hackster or from our LinkedIn and you can also consult with us for different projects. Thank you.